Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from BoxBrownie.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to shoot 360 real estate photography. To begin with, I'm going to show you how to set up your 360 camera. We'll be using the Ricoh Theta V today. I'm then going to show you how you can get window detail when shooting a property using a 360 camera. This is particularly important when shooting a property with a view like this one. I can't wait for this one, so let's get started. All right, everybody, let's get started. So let's set up this 360 camera to take bracketed shots so we get that beautiful ocean or window detail outside. To do that, we need to open up the multi-bracket shooting option on the, on the 360 Rico app. So you're gonna see on my video screenshot right now exactly how to do this. So we're gonna set up seven brackets. Um, we're gonna have all different shutter speeds. My first one is gonna be one, two, five, zero, zero. We're gonna ensure that our ISO is on 100 and our white balance is 5000K. So as you can see, that one's done and that's really picking up that beautiful detail outside. You know, even if we might have, you know, I'm looking at it again now, we might even just jump that down to even, you know what? Let's go 13200, because I'm looking at that detail outside to the left of, of, of my image here and I can tell that has perfect ocean view outside. So look, that's a great tip. These settings may vary a little bit. So please, you know, gauge off the property when you are there on the darkest and most lightest contrast area, like, like, like this shot right here. So I'm gonna click that in. That one's done. So I've got another six more to do. So my next setting is gonna be a little bit lower than this. So let's go roughly around one, one, two, five, zero. Look, that detail's great. So I can tell that this, this mirror, or sorry, not this mirror, but this window behind me has better detail. And on the left side of the other image that where I had the detail previously is a little bit more lighter. So that's the, actually the look you wanna look for. So that's great. Everything else is looking good. My next setting is roughly gonna be a little bit lower than that. Let's go about 1640. Um, you know, I'm checking all this detail behind me here. So this all looks really good. I'm starting to pick up a lot more detail outside. The rest of this image is starting to look good. I'm happy with that. So that's three down and four more to go. So my next one, I'm gonna roughly do half of that. So let's go around one, three, two, zero. Uh, as you can see, the internal of this property, like the flooring, you know, the roof, everything's starting to come a little bit more in focus. So I'm definitely happy with that shot. Bracketing's all about getting a broad range of light, you know, from dark to medium. You wanna get all the window detail outside, and then you also wanna get that light gradient up to, you know, the darkest area inside. So that's very important to know. We have great blogs on this, and we, we will CC those blogs on this post. My next setting is gonna be roughly, you know, another half of that. Um, let's go one, one, six, zero. Look, it's all looking good inside. That didn't say for some reason. Let's try that again. Look, great. That detail inside is almost looking as the eye sees it, so it's great. I'm looking at all the windows now. They are a bright white haze. That is perfectly normal because the camera is going to take all the different light settings. And of course, boxbrownie.com is what, you know, we're, we're the photo wizards that make all this happen for you and, you know, get this beautiful marketed shot ready, ready for your marketing. Okay, that's five, we've got two more to go. Let's roughly half that again. We might even sort of go around, you know, one, five, zero. How does that look? Look, that's quite good, um, happy with that. Now everything's starting to look really quite white and bright here in these darker areas, so I'm happy with that. And then lastly, we might go one super light image and we might go sort of one, one to one thirty or even one to one six if you want to go as well. Let's just go a super, super light one. I'm going to go one to thirteen. And look, that's super bright as you can see from, you know, my screenshot video. But look, let's go off that. Let's see how they go. And um, look, I think we're, get, we're ready to take our first shots. We've got seven brackets installed on the camera app. You're gonna hit one button. It's gonna take seven brackets for you. So it's super simple. And you can just go from shot to shot in the room and you know, really test this out. So we're gonna take two photos inside and then we're gonna take one outside in that bright sun and see what they look like. So let's get started. All right, everybody, this is our first shot. 
one of the most important areas of the home. We have a view, you know, this beautiful view behind us. I'm in the center of the room. Um, what's great is all these settings, once they're locked and loaded, you don't need to change them. Um, I'm gonna put that in the middle of the camera. One thing I'm going to do really quickly is change my self timer. At the moment, it's on two seconds. And what I'm gonna do is change it to 10 seconds. Because obviously, we are shooting 360 cam, you know, 360 shots here. So it's gonna capture all the detail, including my cameraman. So what we're gonna do is take this shot. Um, we've got 10 seconds to play with. So let's, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go for a walk here now. I'm gonna hit this right now. So that shutter is going. We've got 10 seconds, as you can see on our screen. We're gonna hide around the corner. Um, you know, right about here. You know, the camera's doing all the work. I'm just waiting for it to take the images. You know, it's got seven shots to take. Um, you know, it's shooting in process right now. So let's keep this going on live time, just so you know how long it takes, you know, to actually capture these images. We've already taken three, we've taken four. We've got three more to go, two more to go. And I heard the, I heard the little whistle noise that the camera makes, so it has captured those images already. So we can walk over there. And it's honestly as easy as that, everybody. Um, you know, I'm gonna check those images on, you know, on, on my camera really quickly, or we'll transfer them over. It's probably really good practice to do this. So, you know, check your shots, go through them all, download them really quickly. What I love about this one is, um, you know, I can see all the window detail out here, which is really great. So my first shot, it's really dark. So you wanna make sure out of all these windows that we have all this beautiful detail here, like I'm showing, you know, on, on this screenshot right now. I can see all the ocean. I can make that view out in every window beautifully. So that is perfect. Um, let's go two brackets deep. Um, Cause you know, obviously that gradient's great. As I can see from this image, I'm starting to get a bit of internal detail, which is great. Some of that back area looks quite dark still, that's normal. But what I do like is I'm starting to get detail here because it is lighter. Perfect. You know, what's really great is we have, you know, seven brackets. That's why it's so important to get these right. You know, it might take you a few times to dial in bracketing on a 360 camera, but once you have it sorted, it's super easy. Look, this one's looking really good. Uh, mid, mid exposure, perfect, love it. Um, what's even better is of course, we aren't in the shot as well. Um, this one's really light. Look, I can tell by just looking at those five images that we are spot on. Um, so that's one shot done. Um, let's walk straight outside and, and capture this other area out here. So what I'm gonna do is literally just walk in, you know, in live time, um, you know, what a, what a house this is. Just gonna walk out here, right in the sun. You know, what, what may be a bit of a distraction is, you know, solar, solar flaring from the sun. What I do love is we're actually shooting, you know, at midday, which is kind of perfect. So the sun's directly behind, you know, you know, above us. It's not in the corner or, or, or over here to our left. Um, where it could shine straight into the lens. It's right above us. That's probably a really good tip for people. Um, I'm happy with this. So I'm roughly gonna put this maybe here so I can sort of look through this awesome, you know, construction here of this metal work. Roughly here, we're gonna get the outside of this property. We're gonna actually get the inside detail. We're gonna get the pool. You know, we're gonna get all this view all in the one shot. So like we did last time, we're gonna slowly walk out. You know, you gotta be careful. The Wi-Fi range isn't, uh, as long as, as a usual camera. So I think I'm gonna stand, we've got this beautiful metal pole here. I'm gonna stand here. I think the cameraman's probably gonna stand in front of me. Um, I'm gonna hit this button because I think the range will get it from here. Great, so that range is, that's roughly, you know, two, three meters, you know, it, it, could, go, it could go more, it could go less. It's shooting right now. You know, it's got two, it's got one shot to go. It's as quick as that. Um, Actually, no, I do lie, it was countdown. So now it's taking the shots right now. Um, we have six shots remaining. Five, four, three, two, and of course one. And it's as quick as that. So, you know, 360 photography doesn't need to be time consuming. It doesn't need to be hard. And if you wanna shoot like a pro, and bracket, get every, you know, light detail, get the window pull, you know, you're gonna be above the crowd and that's what's so important. Boxbrandy.com wanna get everyone. I don't care if you're an amateur, I wanna get you shooting like a pro. Because these days with technology and you know, you know how accessible it is, 
anyone can buy a 360 camera or even a digital camera and get the same results as a professional because look, shooting it is only one third of the battle. The other two thirds comes with all the photo editing and of course that's where boxbrownie.com comes into hand. Um, we take care of all that. All you've got to learn is how to use the camera and we'll handle all the editing. So look, that's two shots out of three. I'm going to grab the camera now. We're going to go upstairs in a moment, take one more shot on a, of, of an internal master bedroom and look, that's our tutorial done. So um, we'll leave it at that and we'll see you in a minute. All right, everybody, we're in the master bedroom now. We have this beautiful ocean view. You know, we have the master bedroom bed and we also have a you know spa, bit of, bit of the showers, all that sort of thing. So um, the house is looking prep, ready to go. One extremely important you know, factor, make sure all your blinds are open, make sure all your lights are turned on. And of course, you wanna really have your 360 camera you know, as high as it can go or around eye level, which is super important. Um, there's a few things here, like we've got a couple of items here that probably we, you know, we, we may remove out of, out, of, out of the image. So for reference, we can virtually stage 360 images. You know, we can item remove images. Um, anything you want done to your photos in 360, we can do it for you. So um, I'm looking around, everything's looking really good. Camera set up, ready to go. Um, so look, let's, we're, gonna, we're gonna run here in the walk-in wardrobe, take this photo, and then we're really done. I suppose another really important, you know, fact to, you know, to talk about, um, you know, when we're shooting 360 cameras or 360 photos, it's just the same as any any photo shoot. So we have a pre-photography checklist you can use. Um, follow that down to a T. Make sure your lights are on. Of course, you know your blinds are all, you know, nice and even. Um, also, ensure all your chairs and, and you know dining chairs are all pushed in nice and evenly. Open up all your doors. So let the you know let the outside in, and um, look, it's it's just the same. So that look, photos are taken. So we're taking three shots of a home. Of course, you can take the whole house. You can take you know as, as many or as little as you want. Um, it's as honestly as easy as bracketing and pushing a button and getting box brownie to do the rest. So I hope you love this tutorial. Um, it's the start of many for us. And look, if you have any inquiries please don't hesitate to email us at hello at boxbrownie.com.